Drain the swamp. No, we're not talking about Donald Trump, although it's a grand notion. I wish him or anyone else the best of luck in trying to get Congress to pass a term limit upon themselves. No, today we're going to be talking about the other swamp, our own personal swamp. So, let's get into it. I wanted to write and tell you about my first successful spell. Don't worry, no one died. <laughs> a bit cheeky this one. I did a spell on August 27th for my mean apartment manager to move on to a better opportunity for her. I got a notice yesterday, October 27th, that her last day is October 27th. Exactly two months, just like you have said. I am excited to learn more about magic now. Thank you for teaching us. You're welcome. And thank you for being a great example to others. I'm extremely pleased that you went for the win-win. This is how we drain the swamp. That swamp of human emotions. The element of water that's not allowed to flow through us and becomes stagnant. This is where that mean spiritness comes from. So I'm very proud that you went for the win-win, getting this person out of your hair while at the same time providing them a better opportunity. This helps lift their spirit up and perhaps won't be so mean anymore. It's hard to be mean when you're excited about your future. It's the people who are miserable where they're at who are going around being terrible to others. We know that we are expressive beings, expressing the emotions that we feel. We do this because we want others to feel as we feel. And we do this both consciously and subconsciously. We want others to feel as we do. This is just part of human nature. Unfortunately, it's also a big part of why the world is screwed up right now. So when someone is mean to you and makes you feel bad, your first instinct is to do something to make them feel bad also, as you do. On the flip side, when you're happy, you generally want others to be happy as well. We say that like attracts like. But in our case, like wants to create like. They say that misery loves company. But yet every emotional state wants to enjoy its own same emotional company. So for you to do what you did to resist being mean back and do something nice for this person took a lot of fortitude. It's not easy being nice to people who are mean to you. But if you want to be a spiritual warrior, then you're going to have to learn how to take on the difficult tasks in order to solve the problem. By doing a win-win where you solve your problem and you help them out, you help drain the swamp and make the world a better place. It helps lift them out of the place that they're in and helps them to become a better person. It's going to be very difficult for them to be mean to other people when they're excited about their new opportunity. Can you see that? That's not to say that they won't slip back into their old ways. They very may well. But for the moment, they were lifted up and caught some fresh air. When you respond to cruelty with cruelty, it just never ends. You get into a loop pattern. Everyone just passing negative charges back and forth. Someone has to break the cycle. And this is what Christ was talking about when he said, Turn the other cheek, love thy neighbor as thyself. He didn't say those things to try to turn you into a wuss. On the contrary, he was trying to get you to become a spiritual warrior, to do the hard thing and get to the root of the problem and solve it, to recognize the emotional sickness that people have and to help cure it. 
Now, that's not to say that you can't defend yourself if you're attacked either magically or physically. But in almost every other case, there's almost always a win-win situation that you can come up with. Everyone says that they want the world to be a better place. And as magicians, creators of our own reality, it's up to us to make it so. We can't expect the ones who are unaware to go and do this for us. We have to be the ones who stand up and make the world a better place and to lift people up one interaction at a time. So I was pleased not only with your success, but in the way you went about it, hoping to drain the stagnant emotional swamp of others and help lift them up. A quick note on the Seven Planetary Powers program. As you may well know, I had extended a 15% off discount to previous customers of my programs for a limited time. And that time is now coming to an end. It has been well over a month. But before I do, I want to extend the same 15% off discount to everyone else also. So from now through next week, November 12th, you can pick up the 7 Planetary Powers program for 15% off the regular price. Just enter code 4JUPE22 when ordering. So if you were thinking about picking up the 7 Planetary Powers program, this would be the time to do it. After November 12th, it will go back to full regular price for everyone. That's all I have for now. I do have more on the way, although I have been quite busy as of late, trying to take advantage of the warm weather while we have it. The past few days I've been out sanding and staining and weatherproofing the patio railing, and I also have a tree guy coming tomorrow who's certainly going to be making a lot of noise. Hopefully it won't affect my schedule too much. And I will see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, here's another Mystery School lesson you may have missed. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more weekly content to help expand your knowledge. Thanks for all the love and support, and I'll see you next time. Take care.